Hey there, Chargers. Hope you had a fabulous three-day weekend. I'm Olivia Devenny. And I'm Skylar Covert. Today on DP News. Finals week schedule. Lip Dub Info. Those Publis Choir. Counseling Counter. Nathan Alvarez. Alvarez. And more. DP, DP News starts now. <laughs> As you know, we had no school yesterday in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. In honor, our talented DP Choir prepared a rendition of the U2 song, Martin Luther King. Check it out. from KUIT and the Santa Barbara News Press. In fact, we were on the front page. The pool section of the Lip Dub will be filmed this Friday during the sixth period final. Looking forward to it. Do you have any counseling questions? The counseling counter is now open. Stop by the counseling counter before school, at lunch, or after school, and one of the counselors will be available to answer any of your qu counseling questions. Maybe you have a question about Naviance, taking classes at SBCC, courses for next year, applying for college, financial aid, and scholarships. Oh. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Stop by the counseling counter and our counseling team will assist you with your questions today. Here's a short video about DP's new permaculture seminar option. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gleason. I teach art here at DP. And I'm looking for a group of students um, who are interested in learning how to uh, basically use their seminar time uh, growing food in a forest garden, um, if you'd like to learn how to eat weeds and use plants as medicine, um, learn native skills like basket making and animal tracking, um, if you'd like to learn how to propagate plants in the greenhouse and um, you know make new plants from seeds and cuttings, and if uh, pulling weeds and shoveling mulch um, during your seminar time sounds like fun to you, um, I'm looking for you. Um, so come to room A3 and say hi and I'll put you on the list and get you signed up for the permaculture garden seminar option. Thanks. Art Club is asking for artwork from any students to be on display in the library for Artists of the Month. At least four pieces of artwork need to be submitted to A6 by the first Wednesday of each month so Art Club can vote who will be the Artist of the Month. As you hopefully know, this week is finals week. Your schedule on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be quite different. 
Zero period will begin its two-part final at 6.59 a.m. on both days. Your finals for first and second period will occur on Wednesday, followed by period three and four. Your finals for period three and four will occur on Thursday, followed by your fifth and sixth period. And finally, your fifth and sixth period finals will occur on Friday, followed by early dismissal. You've got this, Chargers. This week is no name calling mm -hmm. week. Come to the pledge table outside at the library at lunch to pledge in support. Now over to President Nathan Alvarez with a quick announcement. Hey DP, it's your prez, Nate Alva here, with a quick request from all of you. Take out your phones right now, go to Google, type in tinyurl.com slash dpnutrition, and take that survey now. Even if you've already taken it before, we need everyone to retake it on this new website. It's asking some quick questions about school nutrition, and the classes with the most participation get pizza parties and cookies. So please fill that out now. We need all the responses in today. Thank you. That is all your campus news for this semester, DP. Olivia and Skyler signing out. Now over to Nico and Ashley with your sports report. What's up, DP? I'm Ashley. And I'm Nico, here with your sports report. Boys basketball conquered the Ventura Cougars 57-50 last Friday. Diego Riker scored 17 points, Anthony Trujillo with 13 points, and Marcellus Gossett with 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 steals. Coach Samora commented that the game was physical and very high tempo. Saturday they played Mira Mesa and proved why they are the number 6 team in the southern section with a final score of 62-53. to Dylan Sugar scored 7 points, 2 steals, and Manny... Monier Manny with 12 points and 4 rebounds. Yesterday, yesterday they beat Capistrano High School 55-47. to Cyrus Wallace scored 18 points and 4 rebounds, while Jason Williams played great offensively, scoring 13 points, 1 assist, and 30 rebounds. The boys are 1-0 on in league, and their overall record is 15-6. and six. Wrestling went to San Inez Invitationals. Aiden Yamasaki was runner-up in the 126 weight class. Joel Garcia placed fourth in the 195 weight class, and Paul Sergison placed fifth in the 145 weight class. The team plays tenth, and their next match is tonight against Ventura, and Wednesday they have a duel against Santa Barbara. Chris Waterpolo finished a final score of 9-7 to seven and in a place of fifth place at the Santa Barbara Tournament of Champions this weekend. They play San Marcos here at 315. Girls basketball play Santa Barbara tonight at 7, and they play Buena on Thursday. Boys and girls soccer play San Marcos Thursday at 5. Boys basketball play Buena on Friday. See you next semester, DP. Hey, DP. I'm Nandina Braganza, your current events reporter. A movement to create a nationwide day of recognition for tamales began locally. It was successfully supported by the Chamber of the Santa Barbara Region, and the country's first National Tamale Day is set to be celebrated on March 23, 2016. The Chamber believes the special day deserves a worthy logo and has announced a design contest open to high, high school students living in Santa Barbara County. The entry deadline is January 31, 2016. Gift guard prizes valued at $550 will be provided. In addition to gift cards, the winning contestant also receives artistic credit as well as special recognition on the National Tamale Day website. Participation is free and the rules are available online on the National Tamale Day website. In other news, DP Theatre was named Youth and Student Theatre Program of the Year by Broadway.com, a site dedicated to recognizing the best programs in various regions. Legally Blonde was named Best Youth Program and Best Costume Design. Each year, DP has won a variety of recognitions, but the biggest is being recognized as the Best Youth Program in the Santa Barbara area. Now over to Lizette with the weather. Hey there, DP.
ODP, today's temperatures will be 61 degrees and a 100% chance of rain. Tomorrow's temperatures will be 66 degrees and Thursday's temperatures will be 68 degrees. The surf today will be 3 to 4 feet with 4 feet being the highest point at 6 p.m. What do you call a computer that sings? Adele. I'm Lizette with the weather signing out. Good luck with finals, DP.